Hey guys, it's Erica here from Big Cat Creative, and today I'm going to walk you through how to use the new portfolio collection feature for Squarespace 7.1. This is an awesome new feature of Squarespace release that is perfect for showing off your projects, photo galleries, or case studies, and there's really quite a lot you can do with it. Like I said, this is for Squarespace 7.1, so if you're using Squarespace 7.0, then this tutorial is going to be pretty useless for you as there's no such thing as portfolio pages on Squarespace 7.0. There are other ways to add portfolios in Squarespace 7.0 though, so I've linked those in the description if you're interested. Anyway, if you're ready to build a portfolio on Squarespace 7.1, let's dive in. Okay, so let's jump in. I am currently on a Squarespace 7.1 site and I'm going to show you how to use the new portfolio feature. So if you are new to 7.1 and you used Squarespace 7.0 in the past, you'll know that this is a new feature. It's not something that Squarespace 7.0 ever had or probably will ever have. And it's really cool. So I want to show you how to use it. So head into your pages panel. So click on pages in your sidebar and then you can add a page to either your main navigation or your not linked navigation. So if you add it to your main navigation, it's going to show up here in your main navigation. And if you add it into your not linked, basically it's going to show up nowhere unless you specifically link to it from a button or a link somewhere else around your site. So I'm going to go ahead and add it into my main navigation. Just click on the little plus next to main navigation and then click on portfolio. So immediately when you choose portfolio, it will prompt you to choose a layout. This doesn't really matter because you can change the layout as soon as you open it up and get in there, but this does give you a, a good overview of the layout set it offers. I'm just going to go for the basic grid for now, but I'll show you the different layouts and how to change it anyway. So it automatically will show up as probably not the name you want it to be. So I'm going to quickly show you how to update those settings. To open up the settings for the whole portfolio page, not the individual projects, but the whole portfolio page, you'll want to click on the little cog next to portfolio. Then under general, you probably want to change the page title. So I'm going to change this to gallery or you can change it to whatever you want, but portfolio two probably isn't very good. So I'm going to change mine all to gallery. You can just change yours to portfolio or whatever works for you. Make sure you change all three of them, including the URL slug. The URL slug is what comes after your domain name. So it'll be like www.yourdomain.com slash gallery or whatever you choose. So when you've done that, you can check out the SEO settings. So the SEO settings are basically what Google or other search engines will show people who are searching. The title will automatically be taken from your page title unless you set something else specifically. And then if you add a description here, this is what will show up in Google or other search engines. So it is good to add a description to all of your pages around your site. You can learn more about SEO if you want to. Squarespace has some awesome tutorials all about SEO and their recommendations. If you don't want to do that, just type something in here and follow this little guide. If you want to add a specific social image for this specific page, you can add that here. And under your advanced settings, this is just where you can put some code. So if you don't know anything about that, then don't worry about it. As long as you have your page title sorted out and your SEO, that's pretty good. So when you're done with that, just click save in the top corner. And Squarespace automatically gives you six placeholder projects which is pretty cool because then you can actually see how the project page is looking. So this is the grid option that we chose and I'm going to go ahead and click edit on the project page and I'll show you how to edit the design of this page. So the project page pretty much works exactly like any other page, which is really, really cool. The only difference is you have this project section within your page. So you can actually add sections above the project section. If you know how to use Squarespace 7.1 at all, you'll be really familiar with how to edit pages and how to add different page sections. So I just went ahead and added a section above the portfolio section, and then you can add it below as well. You can add as many sections as you like, just like any other page, and you can even move this section up and down wherever you want to on the page. So the main difference is that this section is a specific project section, and that means it has project settings and the settings are quite different from just regular page settings. 
So if you click on this little edit section icon, you'll firstly be presented with different layouts. So this is what we chose at the very beginning, but here's a list of the different layouts. So go ahead and experiment with these, check them out, see what they look like. They're pretty random, <laughs> but also pretty cool and definitely out of the box for Squarespace. They've just definitely given us something a bit more exciting than usual here, which is cool. I often like using the grids because I think they look really good. And there's two different types of grids. So there's a grid overlay and a grid simple. So the grid overlay has the text overlaid and then the grid simple has the text underneath. But once you choose a layout, it will give you a bunch of different settings that you can choose from, which is really cool. So you can change the width of your page, you can change the height, you can change the columns, you can add some spacing if you want to, you can change the ratio of your image. So tons of different settings in here for your portfolio, which is awesome. So once you've chosen your layout and added in your settings, you can also add a background to this section, which is really cool. And if you don't want to add a background, you can update the color. So depending on what color themes you have around your site, you can update the color theme to whatever works for behind your projects. So lots of fun things you can do with the settings and the entire page, really. There's so much you can do on a project page. Like I said, you can add as many sections as you want. You can add blocks just like you can on any other page. So it's super customizable. So when you're done designing the actual project page, go ahead and click save. And then we're going to talk a little bit about actually adding the projects. So you can add a new project by clicking the plus icon and it's going to give you a bunch of different page layouts to choose from. This is quite cool just for a start, but again, they are completely customizable. So you can essentially add anything you want. You can just start with a blank page if you want to, or you can start with one of these cool gallery pages that Squarespace has put together just to make things a little bit easier. Then once you choose a layout or even just a blank page, you're going to be shown the project settings. So before you click save and move on, just go through these settings. First, under general, you'll want to add your own thumbnail image. So the thumbnail image is the one that shows up on the actual portfolio page that we were just looking at before and designing before. So this image is actually quite important because this is what people are going to be clicking on to open up this specific project page. The title again is quite important. This is what's going to be shown on the portfolio page on top of your image or underneath your thumbnail image, wherever you decide to put it. And the URL slug is important too. I recommend just keeping it as simple as possible. So let's just say this is a um, maternity session. I don't know, just in case you're a photographer or something. And then you want to keep that slug. It actually automatically updated it for me, which is awesome. But yeah, you want to you want to keep that slug specific and without any of those letters and numbers that it had in it before, because that's good for your SEO. And then moving on to SEO. Just like on the portfolio page, we can add a title and we can add a description. So it's the exact same thing again. The title is going to be taken from your project title if you don't change it. And then the description is optional, but recommended. Then if you want to, you can add a specific social image in here. If you don't add a social image, you can see that it's actually just taking the thumbnail image, which is quite good. So if you're happy to use the thumbnail image for your social image, you really just don't have to do anything, which is great. And when you've entered in all of those settings, click save. Then this is going to automatically open up into the project we just created. So now we're here on the maternity session. That's a weird thing to write, but I had photographers in mind when I was making this. So this functions again, exactly the same as any other page, which is really, really cool. And luckily in Squarespace 7.1, we have heaps of different options for page sections and gallery sections. So if you're planning to show images in your portfolio, this is a really good way to do it because Squarespace has so many cool galleries that you can choose from. So have a play around with adding different sections, adding text, adding banner images. You can add banner images to sections by clicking on the little edit icon on the section and uploading a background image. So that will populate the whole background of that section. You can add text just like you would add any other block. You can change the settings for each section under format, obviously the background, which we just talked about 
and you can even update the colors on each section depending on what you've got programmed in for your color settings. And then the really cool thing is the gallery section. So with the Squarespace layout that I chose that they had already created, there's already a gallery section in here. But if you want to add one, all you need to do is click add section, then come down to gallery. And then again, it'll give you a ton of different layouts you can choose from. And then again, again, you can totally change this if you want to change it to something else. But this is a good preview of some of the different layouts that the galleries can give you. So I won't add one because I've got one right here, but you can add one and have a play around with it. To add images, you just click on the little image icon and this will open up the gallery image area. You can upload images by clicking the plus and clicking upload images, or you can just drag them in. Each image, you can add a description and even a link if you want to. And you can adjust the focal point of each image, which is really cool. So the focal point basically tells the image where to focus if it's being cropped. So if you have a gallery like what we have behind here, and it's got the images cropped into squares, then if I drag the focal point over here, I'll show you what that does. So you can see now, it's a little bit hard to see, but because I dragged the focal point of the first image all the way over to here, now this image is actually focusing really far over to the left side, and you can see the images that have the focal point cropped in the middle aren't quite that far over. I know it's very close, so it's a little bit hard to see but it can be really handy when you're using the cropping because obviously these are all slightly cropped. For example, if you had an image that had a face or a really important section in it that you didn't want to get cropped off, just move the focal point to that area and then the image will focus on that point and it will crop around it and won't crop off that specific part. So that's how you add images and adjust the focal point. Then what's really fun is the gallery settings. So just click the little settings icon and again, you'll have a bunch of different gallery layouts. So right now we're on grid simple, but there's a ton of different galleries that you can choose from, which are really, really fun. So I recommend just experimenting with these. And then of course, experimenting with all of the settings underneath just to get the gallery to exactly how you like it. So there's a ton of different options in here and it's just really, really fun. You can also add multiple galleries per page, which is really cool. So you can add a section, add another gallery, and let's say this time I want to add a slideshow. So then I've got the grid gallery up here, which looks a little bit crazy, but whatever. And then we've got a slideshow down here, which is really cool. So you can add as many galleries as you want to these pages which makes it really good for portfolios or photographers, designers, or basically anyone that needs to use any sort of photography in their portfolios, which is probably a lot of people. So really just have fun with it, experiment with the design, play around with the page sections. You can also move page sections up and down. It just works the same as any other Squarespace page, which is really cool. And when you're done, click save. One cool thing about the project pages is that they actually link together kind of like how the blog posts do they have little arrows at the bottom that directs you to the next project which is very cool the one thing you do need to be wary of though when it comes to building these portfolio project pages is that you can't duplicate them and take them out of the project area so you can duplicate them within the portfolio area so if I wanted to duplicate the one I just did I'll just click on the three little dots click on settings and then click duplicate. And that's just going to copy the project page inside the portfolio. But what you can't do is actually take this and bring it into your regular pages. So just be conscious of that because I don't want you to spend a whole bunch of time designing an epic page in here and then you realize that you actually want to bring it into your pages section and you can't do that. Once it's in your portfolio, it's in there for good and you can't take it out. Another important thing to note is that there's no drafts. So you probably notice as soon as I copied the original maternity session, this published straight away. Hopefully this is something that Squarespace will update. I have seen people sort of complaining about this because it is a little bit hard to edit a entire project page and have it go live straight away without having some time to leave it in a draft mode. So hopefully they do update that, but that is just a word of warning 
as soon as you copy something, it's gonna be there for the world to see. The only time that they can't see it is if you add a new one and haven't saved it yet, basically. So you kind of only have one chance to get it right <laughs> before you save it. So hopefully that's something that Squarespace fixes soon. So there is a few other things that you can tweak on this page in terms of design. If you just go back to your main menu and then go into design, you can tweak the fonts and the colors on the page. So under fonts, scroll down to assign styles. And because I chose the portfolio grid overlay, that's the settings it's given me. But if you've chosen another layout, then it might give you settings for another layout. But I can actually edit the title. So this is the title that's showing up here. I can edit the size of that. I could change the font. I could create something custom. So I've just made it a bit smaller, as you can see. If there's anything else that you can edit, it'll show up there under the design fonts and assign styles, just as long as you're on the actual page. And then in terms of colors, because this is pretty much like the design of a regular page, all of the colors apply exactly the same. The only thing that's a little bit different is you can actually adjust some of the colors in this project section. So if I come into section themes and then open up my white minimal, because that's the theme that I have set on my current project section. So I'll go to white minimal and scroll down and you should be able to find some portfolio settings. So you can actually adjust the color of the title. You can adjust the color of the hover background. So for example, I could change this to green and that would change the hover color to a greeny color as you can see there so there's a bunch of different settings you can play around with here there isn't too many it's really just for this section and the specific portfolio things other than that the rest of the page just follows the rest of your site's settings so remember to click save before you back out of anything and that is pretty much it for the new portfolio slash project slash gallery sections. I hope that was useful to you and I hope that you're enjoying this new Squarespace 7.1 feature. I know I am. So if you have any questions or any comments about these new portfolio sections, feel free to comment below. I'll link some more Squarespace resources about these portfolio pages below the video too. So I hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.